down, and the second female driver in the race is having a tough night. But Andy Belmont doing everything he can to hang on to a top five position here as he comes up behind Kirk Shelmerdine, who has been fast all night long in spite of losing a lap. Well, Belmont's on the older tires, so to finish fifth here tonight ain't too bad, that's for sure. Ain't too bad right now for Frank Kimmel, two-time winner here at Toledo, looking for win number three here at Toledo Speedway, and done a great, great job chasing the 48 of Jim Lamoureux at the moment. Great run for Kimmel. Good run for Lamoureux. Too bad about him losing a lap. We mentioned that a couple of times, but for Kimmel, he was put a lap on most of the field. Coming up behind this little battle here is Joe Cooksey, Shauna Robinson, and the 71 of Scott Baker, who has worked his way up from 16 to start position. Battle with these guys from 7, 8, and 10, 9. Good race car driver, Scott Baker. Sat on the pole at the uh, Berlin Raceway last year as he chased Joe Cooksey around. But sat on the pole, Berlin led the first 50 laps and just a handful of starts. He's already had two top five finishes. So I'll tell you what, he's one to keep an eye on. He's done a great job here tonight. Shauna Robinson led her first ever arc of laps. Some Baker inside of Cooksey oh, made yeah, the pass and got by Robinson as well. A lot of bumping and banging going on. Uh, the 71 of Baker gets up into Shauna Robinson. Cooksey trying to figure out which one of those two is the best one to follow. And now Scott Baker is up to 8 from 16, so he's making a run to the front. Not unlike that of Bobby Gearhart. Baker of the 71, engineered Coleman Chevrolet, the Monte Carlo. Work our way up and look at Shauna Robinson again. Baker's next intended victim. Shauna's done a good job of holding a lot of fast cars behind her for a while. Shauna and the Kmart kids race against drugs. Oh, it works great for her. She's a mother of two, originally from Des Moines, Iowa, and has the attention of everyone here tonight. Driving uh, in some pain from injuries, as you mentioned. Shauna Robinson down the low line. Baker as he backs out of the gas, sends some flames. The crowd loves that. Here is that side-by-side -side action. Shelmerdine kind of mixed in with it. He's been in the mix all night. Yeah, the flat car's coming underneath. There is Shona Robinson trying to hold off Baker. Further back, it's the 51 of Cooksey who's watching the battle. Gets a little loose there for a moment and gathers it up. Baker's been a five-time winner at the Berlin Raceway in Marne, Michigan, one of the tougher local late model classes in the state of Michigan. Uh, he is uh, a driver that can certainly get it done. Berlin Raceway, Toledo Speedway, you kind of can say those in the same breath as venerable uh, speed plants in the Midwest. Donna Robinson and Scott Baker Leader Frank Kimmel stalking them right now, looking to put 7th and 8th place a lap down. Kimmel has been unstoppable since he went in for fresh tires. That was the smart thing to do. Well, Brian, in the super speedway business, Tim Steele is the undisputed king with 21 super speedway victories. But in the short track world, at least for the last three seasons, Frank Kimmel has been the king. He's been a... You know, he won at Flat Rock this year. He won at Kill Care, spanked him bad there, and doing much of the same here tonight. He is really, really tough. Very familiar sight in Victory Lane, the advanced auto park. Oh, lane. trouble Frank here Kimmel. on the main straightaway. And oh, Baker goes goodness. around hard into the tire barrier hard down on crash. the inside. That is a scary impact as Baker takes the car, number 71. The inside of the racetrack here at Toledo, everybody has slowed down, and rightfully so, as we're watching from on board with Tim Steele here. And uh, the track has fallen silent. That was a very, very hard impact on the 71 car of Scott Baker, so our concerns for the moment are there. It takes a hard hit to move those big tires the way Baker's car did. I'm not kidding. Steele moving around and up in the line. Behind leader Frank Kimmel and the pace car, a red flag has come out here at Toledo, and that is not a good sign. The Arcabondo Marhide Series has been brought to you by AMI. Call 1-800-881-2AMI and learn about an exciting new career as a motorcycle, marine, or personal watercraft technician. By Cornwell Quality Tools, professional mechanics worldwide. Choose Cornwell, the official tools of Arca.
and by Dick Bergeron, Speedway Illustrated, a magazine dedicated to stock car racing. Race communications provided by Racing Electronics, the official communications supplier of ARCA. For a free catalog, call 1-800-272-7111. The race has been called due to the serious accident by Scott Baker, and as Frank Kimmel climbs out of the car, this is probably not the way he wanted to win one, but he is with Don Radeball. Let's go downstairs to Don. A great race for you, Frank Kimmel, your third victory of the 2000 season. Uh, congratulations. Well, I'll tell you, it was a great race for uh, the Advanced Auto Parts Chevy. Uh, we had a great race with Tim all night, and uh, what a really sad way for it to end there. I just hope Scott and his... Uh, is okay and, and his, you know my best wishes go out to his entire family uh you love to win races but you sure don't want to win them under that kind of circumstance uh hard finish but uh can't thank thank the guys enough they worked really hard and uh, what a battle that was a very very hard race you were one of few cars that came on and bolted four new tires during the event the other the 67 and the 16 is that what won it for you tonight well, I thought we really had a good car, and I think on the even up, uh, we, we could probably handle the other guys, but I knew that they would put on new tires. They had nothing to lose, uh, and if they got better, we might be in trouble. So uh, we felt like we just come in. Uh, the crew has been doing such a great job on pit stops. Uh, so uh, I felt very confident we'd get in, get back out, and uh, then race back to the front. And uh, what an exciting show that was. And again, uh, you know, my hearts and prayers go out to the Baker family. Absolutely. Frank Kim will come home the winner tonight. His 20th career Arca Bondo Marhide Series victory. Somewhat subdued celebration by Frank Kimmel and the others. Tim Steele coming home in second. Brian Ross rounding out the top three. Gearhart's good run up into fourth spot. And Bob Strait, the points leader, rounding out the top ten. Kurt Piercy begins the second ten with Chuck Weber out of Texas. Finishing in 20th spot. Kevin Counselor on many of these cars. Went a lap down early. In fact, almost everyone did. The rest of the results from the Archibondo Marheit Series stop here at Toledo Speedway. It is our sad duty to report that Scott Baker did not survive the impact with the inside of the racetrack here at Toledo Speedway. Our condolences to his family, to his friends, and to the Arca family for their loss.